Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings and today I'm going to be doing your daily for July 13th, 2021. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started here. If you are interested in a personal reading, please email me at AriesSoulGuidance222 at gmail.com. And please beware that there are scammers that are pretending to be me and asking. Um, they did a really bad job of copying my profile picture, so you should be able to tell. Um, but they're telling you to hit them up on WhatsApp at WhatsApp or whatever you say, however you say it, whatever. I don't have it. So um, be mindful of that. Um, sure karma is coming their way but anyways so let's go ahead and get started but if you would like a personal reading from me the details are in the description box okay okay so we have reconsider came out here okay let's see what's going on pull a little more card and this is the angel answers okay i knew that. that card came out when i was shuffling before we have romance Okay, reconsider. Maybe it's about a romantic option. Maybe it's about um, getting back together with somebody. When I was also shuffling before I started, codependency card came out. But let's see here. What's going on? Reconsider. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Let me pull one more card here for the Aries. What are they to see for July 13th, 2021? Mm -hmm. Thought so. Reconciliation. So somebody here is trying to get you, you, you're about to reconcile with somebody or somebody is coming towards you wanting to reconcile. There's a codependency. I said it came out before. It's at the bottom of the deck. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Hmm. Let's pull some more. Somebody's trying to tempt you with a good time. <laughs> Somebody's coming back from your past areas wanting to reconcile with you wanting to get back but it doesn't seem like it's the grim grim reaper fell out um your the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life i'm gonna put it back but it did fall out while i was shuffling somebody wants to come back and give this thing another try but aries i think spirit wants you to kind of disconnect from the world and so you can see or you're able to think more clearly sometimes when you take a step back um, you're able to assess the situation from a different point whether when you're like right up all in the mix or whatever so let's see here okay three cards came out so let's see beautiful these cards never lie i mean it's crazy so we have not today not dealing hurt avoiding conversation call person boundaries still angry um we have healthy choices making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care being happier girl with a snake empath and narcissist pirate paradigm being charmed or used, enable, and boundaries. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so excuse my language here, but it's like the, what, what came through when I was, before I even read the cards was like, get away with me, get away from me with this fuck shit, okay? Excuse my language to whoever, you know? But that's what I was hearing. Fuck shit. It's like somebody's coming around. You know what I'm talking about. It's like I don't I don't even use that. Like, but whatever. Like that's what would describe this person coming back to you trying to reconcile. Like they're really on some fuck shit. Like what? Like those two words, I don't know. Maybe y'all say them together. But that's how crazy it is. It's like you did all of this to me and now you want to come back around and have a second chance with me? what super toxic we have this codependency card here and then the girl with the snake empath and narcissist paradigm right there's a user and there's an enabler um but i feel like aries you probably would have you probably were the person the empath you know probably the giver i don't know you know whatever make it however you want to make it but somebody there was one person who just took 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 and another person just gave 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 like 
both of you were in the wrong because one person was not enabling their boundaries, was not setting their boundaries up, and you were allowing the person to use you. And the other, like, if there's a user, what they're going to use, okay? You know, people um, get mad at them. Yeah, they shouldn't be like that. But if they're a user, they're going to use. There's no, there's, they have no, um, what do you say? Like no boundaries. Like they're going to go all in. If they see somebody, and that's usually how it works. If they see somebody who's giving and um, somebody who's always caring and somebody who's always willing to take the shirt off of their back, they're going to strip you naked. Okay. That's the type of person that you were dealing with. They're not going to, they're going to take a mile, right? Give them an inch. They're going to take a mile. So let's go ahead and um, pull the cards here. Let me use these ones. I've been liking these ones a lot. I still don't know what the name is. What is the name of this deck? How did I forget the name of this deck? I don't know. <clears throat> it's going to come to me. It's so weird. But anyways, the Light Sears. There it is. The Light Sears deck. What is the situation going on here with the Aries? Queen of Wands. Feeling good, looking good, doing better, right? But that but they say the best revenge is looking good and doing better. And that's what this energy is coming out here. Queen of Wands, Aries, this is how you're showing up. You have completely revamped yourself, your image, your outlook on life, the way you pour into yourself. That's why this Healthy Cho Choices card came out here, okay? Making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. When you're when you're vibing higher, like this type of person who's trying to come back can't even penetrate the surface. Like maybe in the past when you were low and you had low self-esteem and you weren't really taking care of yourself, then yeah, then they're able to come in and manipulate you any kind of which way, right? But now you're doing better, you're looking better, you're you're feeling better you're taking care of yourself this person their charm doesn't work anymore on you okay let's see the challenges yeah the challenge here's the three of cups and it came out with the eight of pentacles here this reconciliation is going to be a huge challenge for them right because you're working on yourself you're building yourself up the eight of pentacles is literally working on a craft or working on yourself self-reflecting eights have to do with self so you could just be about your paper now, your money, your business, your career. You could be back in school. There's something that you're doing that has elevated you to the point where you're not even looking over your shoulder or even thinking or worried about this person anymore. I'm not going to say you're not completely worried about them, but you're definitely, I mean, you're not worried about them. I'm not going to say you're not thinking about them, but it's like, it's more of like, a, sometimes you still have memories of them and it comes back and it's like, Wow, I can't believe I did that. Wow, I can't believe I was with a person like that. And it just kind of gives you the strength to keep moving forward. Now we have the Two of Cups and the advice from Spirit. So there may be a relationship here, a mutual relationship. That's a soulmate card. So I don't know if that's new. We'll clarify what is in the near future. Okay, so we have the Hangman and the Hierophant, which is in the near future. The Hangman is like... You're taking a pause or a break, but it's an enlightenment. So is this hierophant here. It's like a higher level here. You're enlightened to, I mean, you're enlightened to the bullshit. Like you have elevated, and especially in this hierophant card, there is a staircase leading at the top with a light at the top. You know, it's kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel. This person is very happy because they've elevated their their way of thinking, their their not their knowledge. Okay. Um, they don't even you don't even think the same way anymore. This is a relationship card and the hangman here again has that same light by her head. And sometimes the, the what happens is with the hangman energy is that you have to take a pause to see things more clearly before you can take your next step. You're not letting this person bring you back into this energy. Here's the past energy, the nine of swords here. Stressed out, confused, playing emotional games here with you. You're not going back there. You're not going back. What's the first one? Wow, I have it like on icebox. 
I, I usually do have it like pretty cold in my house, but it is on like ice box. Okay. It came back. Fuck shit. No, you are blocking that, Aries. The two of swords. Okay? Get that out of here. I'm gonna have to um when I when I edit when I choose the um it asks you if there's any profanity. I've definitely said fuck shit more than a few times in here. But anyways, yeah, you're like no. No, I don't even think so. No. Like, my aura is glowing right now. Do you think I'm really going to let that low vibrational energy back around me? Mm -mm. No. Two of Swords. You are so cutting it out. You're blocking it. The Six of Swords here. You're moving away from the conflict. Okay? I'm so proud of you. Whoever reading this is. Seven of Swords. This person was nothing but a liar, a manipulator, a cheater. Three of Cups here. Overindulgent. Probably a drinker. Um, like, a heavy drinker. No, you're saying no. Get that shit away from me. Okay, eight of pentacles, three of cups. Mm -mm. Death. They can try if they want to. It's over, right? It's over. And I feel like this wasn't easy for you in the past to walk away from this person. But now that you've got your little glow up going on and everything, now it's like, what? No. Okay, so it may have been a challenge for you in the past um, to turn this person down. You probably went through a cycle of reconciling with this person, accepting apologies, right? And then look, being disappointed all over again, accepting their apology, being disappointed. And then we have the seven of wands here. So now you're like, no, I'm standing my ground. I'm not letting you back in my life anymore. I don't care what you say. I don't care what kind of game that you talk, what kind of manipulation you put on me. It's not happening. What's the advice from spirit? the strength here holding back here i feel like with the two of cups and the strength here you are holding back from this connection but this two of cups i feel like is newer energy you're holding back because you know that there's something better out there for you what is the two of cups there is a king of pentacles you know that there is a better commitment for you out there you're not allowing this person to come back because you know, if you let this person come back, all you're doing is delaying the future. You're delaying what's to come. Now it's clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. It's been a long time coming for this situation to unfold the way it's unfolding, but you finally gotten the strength to pull back from this person. What is the outcome? Queen of Wands, again, there you are showing up again, Aries, and the outcome with the Hierophant and the Hangman. Give me one more card. Okay, so the Three of Cups came in the reverse. No, <laughs> it's a big fat no for them, right? You have other options. You're manifesting new love. You're creating your reality in a new, positive, fun, exciting way. And you're not going back there. You're not reconciling with this person. They can go ahead and kick rocks. There's the Hermit here. That's, you know, when you were drawing, being single, the Star card, Healing. You're not putting up with any of this person's. I feel like they really used to um, manipulate you. With this girl with a the snake, they used to charm you. They used to use you. Look at the world here is in reverse. So it's really over. The Seven of Swords is showing up again. Six of Swords. This person was a liar. They were narcissists. Um, they knew exactly what to say, how to say it, what to do, what cards to pull. We have the Knight of Cups. It possibly used to come in and love bomb you, go out, other people, um, leave you waiting for them. It was just, it was bad. It was ugly. We're not even going to get into that. Just to know that whoever this reading is for, you're going to make the right decision because you've, you're fed up with it. Um, you've probably had an intuition or a knowing that this person was coming back sooner or later. You just didn't know when. Um, and now they're showing up in the cards that they're definitely coming back really soon. So you already know how to handle it, though. You know how this is going to turn out. It's taken a long time for you to get to this place of independence. And you, it's taken a long time for you to get to this place of strength 
to really put your foot down and not be used anymore. So that is good. And I'm whoever this reading for, I'm so proud of you because it does take a lot of strength to break this kind of um, empath and narcissist paradigm. Like the card said, it's just, it's difficult. It's really difficult to break free from. Um, so that is what I have for you guys for your reading for, what is it, July 13th, 2021. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.